Hello everybody out there, how's it going? I, for the first time ever, I'm wearing lipstick on camera, so it feels a little foreign, but you know what? Being festive. It's Christmas time. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my herbal tea collection. I'm really excited to chat you through all of the teas that I own and their benefits as well. I love tea, but I especially love medicinal herbal teas. I do have one or two teas that I drink just for like their flavor or like as a dessert tea, but 95% of the teas that I drink, I drink strictly for their their health benefits, which is what I love so much about herbs and herbal teas is how their benefits are so varied and they're so diverse in what they have to offer for our bodies and so over time I'm always collecting another tea, another tea. All the teas that I drink are caffeine free which is nice because since there's no caffeine they are not a diuretic so it's nice, nice and hydrating and medicinal at the same time. You guys will notice a bit of a theme in this video that I have quite a lot of herbal teas for digestion and also for stress and anxiety. Those tend to be the ones that I gravitate towards, um, but everyone's different and I think that that's what's so fun about um, exploring different teas is that um, there's one out there for everybody. So I do have a couple others though as well and I'm just going to get right to it. So the first tea that I want to talk about is actually one that I am drinking right now. This is marshmallow root and leaf tea. This is it here. This is by Celebration Herbals. It is an organic tea and this is actually my newest addition to my tea collection and I can't lie. There's two reasons why I wanted to explore this tea. One, because marshmallow tea. Doesn't it just sound so delightful? Oh, what are you drinking? Marshmallow tea? The second reason why I wanted to try this tea is because it is very anti-inflammatory. It's great for all kinds of inflammatory conditions in the body, including um, IBS or an inflammatory bowel condition. So I like it for digestion. It is in general good for digestion. It's also good for the urinary tract, so it's good for prevention of a UTI. It really helps to soothe mucous membranes in the body. Similar to another herb called slippery elm, marshmallow is mucilaginous. I think that's how you pronounce that. Mucilage. It contains mucilage, so it's basically a thick kind of like slimy coating sort of when you infuse it. So very soothing as well for the throat, for bronchitis. Just think inflammation when you think marshmallow. It has a very light flavor, like very, very light. And another thing that I'll mention is that when I'm drinking my medicinal teas, which is a majority of the time, I just drink them straight. I don't sweeten them. I don't add anything to them. Um, I just want just, just the, the real deal. I just want the full herb in my body. What is happening with this hair? Why does this hair not want to go with the other hairs? Do I look really pale? I feel like... Next tea that I have here is ginger tea. Ginger is such a lovely tea and I think it's one of those teas that everyone should have on hand. Ginger is very good for digestion. Again, I'm actually just going to take you guys through all my digestive teas. Um, very good for digestion, very good for nausea as we all know, um, and that's, you know, that's pretty much it about ginger. It's also anti-inflammatory as well, and just kind of good to, to stimulate digestion. It's good um, after a meal. It's good in the morning to kind of get your gastric juices going as well. Be sure that when you are choosing herbal teas that you still read the ingredients because there are times that they will add like natural flavors added or or you know other things like that and so I always like to make sure that it just says that it's just the herb and that's it, nothing else in it. My next tea here is peppermint tea. I love peppermint! And you know what? Peppermint has been always a little bit of a funny thing for me. Just peppermint in general. Anything peppermint flavored. Mints, gum, mint chocolate, mint tea. I've never really liked it. It's always been something that just has never... I don't know, just drinking mint has always been weird. However, recently, probably over the past few months, I have been enjoying peppermint tea. I find it excellent after a meal. This is another one that's great um, to soothe digestion. It's great if there's any gassiness, um, very good for an upset stomach, that sort of thing, kind of a classic. This is similar to the ginger in that 
I think that peppermint's a good one for everyone to have on hand, really great after a meal, just goes down really well, and um, very fresh, very, very fresh. This hair. This hair. My next tea here is fennel tea. This tea is probably one of the number one teas that I have been drinking over the past year. I have gone through so many packages of fennel tea. This one here is by Herbaria. Fennel is one of those teas that I just drink strictly for its medicinal properties because fennel tastes like black licorice and I don't actually like the taste of black licorice, but I love how I feel when I drink fennel. It's great for bloating, it's great if you're feeling really gassy. Again, just excellent for digestion. Here they are. Look at those teas. Yeah. So black licorice -y, but I, for some reason, still enjoy drinking it. My next tea is a blend. This is by Traditional Medicinals, and this is their Eater's Digest. This I like. It's kind of like just a great comprehensive blend for all over digestion. It's good for after a meal as well, just like the peppermint. And this one in here has peppermint, ginger, which I already talked about. It has fennel as well. It has alfalfa, papaya leaf, cinnamon bark, and lemon balm as well. Lemon balm is very relaxing. You can take it just on its own. It's good for stress and that, but in this case, they're kind of using it uh, as a digestive tonic. This is kind of, I just, I like this if I'm just really feeling like I just want to support my gut. I've had a number of digestive um, issues in my life, so that's why I just, I really like to have lots of these sorts of things on hand. So, yeah. Moving on to some of my other types of teas. I have here Holy basil. Holy basil is an adaptogen. It's very anti-stress, very anti-anxiety. Great any time of the day. It's not a sedative, so you can take it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Still would be nice before bed, but holy basil is just lovely. Um, one of my favorite holy basil or Tulsi teas is by the company Organic India, and they do a Tulsi masala chai holy basil tea, and I haven't been able to get it in quite a long time, but I just love it so very much. Um, I love chai tea, which I will share with you in a moment. Um, this also has a little bit of rooibos leaf in there too, so all around very great tea for stress. My next tea here, again, by Herbaria. Uh, this is chamomile, and chamomile is kind of a classic, a very calming herb, very calming tea to drink. Very good as well if you're feeling stressed out. But chamomile, you can actually do compresses if you, why did I put that, I put that on my nose? Because I used to have my nose pierced, and when I was, um, when it was healing, I used to do a couple chamomile presses on my nose. But wounds, you can do it on just sores or that sort of thing, and put a nice warm uh, tea infusion on the skin. Very good kind of anti-inflammatory and antiseptic. So yeah, chamomile is great just as a good calming drink. My next tea is passionflower. This one has my name on it because I had it at work. I love passionflower tea. I recommend it a lot. Passionflower I love because it is traditionally used to help calm a racing mind. It's very anti-stress. It's very anti-anxiety. You can take this in the evening. It would be lovely before bed, help you to sleep, especially for people who have trouble sleeping because their mind is racing or they're really worried about something or they're just thinking, 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 and they're kind of up all night because of that. Um, passionflower is great for that. So that's what I love about passionflower. On to the next. The next one that I have here is raspberry leaf. This is by Traditional Medicinals. This is an organic raspberry leaf tea. And I have such a special place in my heart for raspberry leaf tea because it's a uterine tonic. It's great for the female reproductive system. And that's just sort of one of my things. I just am very passionate about women's health and um, the, the female reproductive system in general. Uh, all things baby related. This is great during pregnancy, especially in the third trimester, um, because it's a uterine tonic. It kind of helps to sort of prepare the uterus, strengthen the uterus, get things ready. And so that's what raspberry leaf is great for. It's also a great source of vitamin C. It's great uh, before your period, a week or two before your period. 
um, helps to ease cramping as well. Next one that I have here is Nettle Leaf. This is also by Traditional Medicinals. And Nettle Leaf is kind of just an all-over nutritive tonic. It's very, very mineral rich, uh, rich in iron, a good source of iron. So again, also very good for pregnancy too. Um, and just kind of overall just makes a really great a really great tea. Great for a number of things, good for allergies as well. My next tea here is again by the company Herbaria and this is Milk Thistle. Milk Thistle is a very liver supportive herb. Very good for the liver, very nourishing for the liver, helps to stimulate the liver, really good for detoxification. So Milk Thistle is kind of just one of those liver teas. It's good if you're thinking of doing a bit of a detox by way of supporting and stimulating the liver, uh, which is exactly what the liver is going to do, help to purify our blood, um, remove toxins more efficiently, is, you know, kind of the idea behind a healthy functioning liver, and milk thistle is great for that. I don't drink milk thistle all of the time, this is kind of something that I like to have on hand if there is ever a time that I want to just do a bit of liver nourishment for a few days or a week or two. Um, a very lovely tea. My last tea is one that I've already talked about a couple times in my most recent videos and it's just because I'm currently obsessed with it. So this is by Yogi and this is the Chai Rooibos. I'm very very particular like I mentioned earlier. I'm very particular about if there's any like added flavors like natural flavors added to like make it taste like something. I want it to just include herbs and that's it. And that's what I like about this one because there's a lot of other chai tea blends that like add things to like sweeten it or add things to give it more of a chai flavor but this one is only rooibos leaf, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove and then they put a little bit of stevia leaf in there which is fine. It doesn't really taste that sweet. I do sweeten this with some local raw honey. Chai is just so delicious and that's really why I drink this and so I like this in the morning but I also like it in the evening as well. And so that's that. Organic non-GMO, caffeine free, lovely. So those are all of the herbal teas that I wanted to chat you guys through today. My little collection. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!